Well, hello guys, I so much like this remote. Here, here it is. It's for my camera. But guess what? This video is not about this. It's about my new golf bag. It's a stand bag, a small one. It's much smaller than the one in the other video. Have you been watching it? You should. I'm gonna show it to you, see a few things about it, and if you like it, please buy it. You gotta hit play. And now that we have it out of the box, let's see what it can do. That's a piece of Velcro here. Take it out. How do we do with this? Kill them up. Be right back, let me take the plastic up. I'm boxing the legs, so I didn't want to bore my audience and I did it by myself. And now that I unwrap the legs, which I didn't want it, you guys to see, you can do it like this. Throw it away. Now the good one. And this is how it looks like, unwrapped and ready to go. Let's see everything else is gone on it. Where is it? Here it is. So, first of all, we've got here the hood. Okay, sturdy. We've got the legs, like I told you. We've got the shoulder strap, you've seen it in the beginning of the video. We've got a small pocket here for, they say, valuables. You can squeeze in everything you want. What have you got here? Is this a tag? Is it new? Yes, it is. Let's leave it like that for now. And here, there is a thermal pocket. You're squeezing a couple of cans of coke or fanta or anything else you'd like to drink or maybe a whole bottle of wine look playing some golf drinking some wine nice pretty much this is it with all the carrying capacity for this one but now let's see how many clubs we can squeeze in and if it's useful for us or not so here we're gonna see how many clubs can fit in this one and now let's see how many clubs from this huge bag can fit in this one a small one maybe sound game or something like that you just gonna go out with your friends and so on and so forth let's get off the booty which was supposed to be the other way around we need that in any game that is if we can hit with it we've got the three wood the four hybrid Pitch wedge, sand wedge, the seven iron, the eight iron, and the nine iron.
And now let's fit the hood over it. I tried with the hoodies or socks on top of the driver, the wood and the hybrid, but it just didn't work. They were too thick for the hoodie. So after that, we just move the hood for this one. That should be. Take the huge one out of the scenery. Let's talk about the zipper and the stand. There's one thing I found interesting in this. If some of you guys just don't want to have the stand along with you, there's a zipper all the way here. You just lift the legs. Zip it circularly like this. It's a bit tricky, but you're gonna get there. And it looks like that. After you've done this, there's a clip right here. You just pull it, just easy. Take it off. Take the strap, shoulder strap on. Oh. And that's your new golf bag. Guess what? With no shoulder strap. Because as long as you don't have the stand, you're not gonna have any shoulder strap. It's just one clip for the shoulder strap, so you're gonna have it like this. Maybe you like this. Personally, I don't prefer like that. Do you see anything wrong? Because I do. I'm not sure. As I said, I haven't been playing golf for long, but as far as I know, the way you should keep a golf bag on your shoulder should be like this. With the clubs facing up. Like this back does it. You're, you've got the strap, you just sit it on your shoulder, and that's it. You move around. My lovely bag. Now, with this one, that I got right here, the tip of the clubs are right here, bottom of this one. You get the strap. Throw it on your so shoulder, and guess what? Keep up the clubs, move all the way down. Have you heard the click? The clubs are going down. I'm not sure about you, but I've got a bit of OCD when it comes to my anything. I wouldn't like to scratch my clubs. See? This is how it goes. It's much comfortable, it's not so thick. I live in London, and you might as well know Many of you guys have watched this video. It's very crowded. You might as well go to a practice session by train so you don't get your car. Either you don't have a parking lot around there or you just don't want to drive, okay? I go in the train, I keep it like this. Why shouldn't I keep my golf clubs facing upwards as they should? Here clicking. Who makes this golf club? And please, for People that really know golf, not like me, a, a beginner, and you've been playing for a long time, just give me an advice, a short one. Which kind of very thin golf bag I should buy, so it'll be alright. And this is it. Your thin and light golf bag. I hope this video helped you a lot. 
compared to my other golf club bag this is I'm not sure how to say it's too thin for me but it's good because either I go to practice or just go on the golf course only a few clubs and the thin one like this I think it's enough as I said I repeat I'm just a beginner I'm not a professional you can take from this video whatever you want and that's it thanks for watching see you on the next one Thank you.